and I put it out yesterday, you know, before the wind started really kicking in. Yes. A lot of trash on my neighbor's yard that was ours. Blew I, over a little I bit, went out yeah. and picked it up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad you did that. <laughs> well, yeah. It's very breezy out there. <laughs> you know, these type of systems, and I actually have the core of that low pressure behind me. We'll talk about that in just one second. But they mess with their senses a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. whether just, you know, you could hear it on the bridge, you could see it. Sometimes you could smell it when you get that first rain over some time. So yeah. it's really that connection. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is like your, your uh, Super Bowl, right? I know weather people get very excited <laughs> about systems. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very excited about this. Uh, you know, I think a lot of folks are really connected to that, as I mentioned, in, in multiple ways. But we've been seeing the satellite imagery of this bomb cyclone over some time now, over the last three to four days. The development of it, we're all connected to it. And then you can see how it has impacted the Pacific Northwest. Well, now, here's the core of that low as I've zoomed on in, kind of a magnifying look. You can see the clouds billowing up. That's some convection right there, pretty close to that area of low pressure as it moves from the west to the east, closer towards Canada. Eventually, it'll hit the part of a cycle where it starts to dissipate and we lose some of this energy here. But for today, still alive, still a lot going on, and it's going to be wet and breezy. Check out some of the peak wind gusts today, 40 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour there. Uh, from the coast into the valley, even some 20s to 30 mile per hour wind gust out towards central Oregon for today. Newport coming in at 54 miles per hour. You know, we had some strong wind yesterday. It continues for today. And I think even part of our Tuesday may be a bit gusty, too. So through the overnight, it does settle down a little bit. We pick it right back on up on Tuesday morning, especially for the Oregon coast down to the south. Maybe some wind gust here in the valley, too, about 25 miles per hour. So not as strong as what we were kind of dealing with on Sunday and uh, for today, but it'll still be there. And then by Wednesday, we really settle down west of the Cascades where that wind picks up from about the Dallas to Pendleton. I mentioned still very active. I showed you how close we were to that low and it's way up here to the north. But look at the bands of moisture that continue to push into our region. We have even had a couple thunderstorms earlier today and we can't rule out a shot for maybe some more lightning and some thunderstorm activity for the Oregon coast as we head into this afternoon. Heavy rain down towards McMinnville, out towards Sheridan, some lighter rain closer to Portland. This is moving to the east, but uh, at times it will you know, dissipate before it reaches the ground, but I do expect this to be fairly wet as we head into the afternoon at times here in Portland. There's that band of moisture through Astoria, some heavy rain, and again, we may have a thunderstorm or two from Astoria all the way down through the Oregon coast. Paired with that, that high surf advisory until Tuesday morning from Astoria down to Newport. Here's Lincoln City. You can just tell how wet it is and gloomy. 54 degrees, breezy too. That's out of our Chinook Winds Casino Resort camera this afternoon. Wave forecast, it's pretty uh, strong. You can see about 30 feet or so. But we head into our Tuesday once we kind of clear out that area of low pressure that was just so strong. The wind uh, and the waves will not be as aggressive uh, as we head into tomorrow. All right, so there goes that trough of low pressure. We have a ridge starting to develop on Wednesday. It should warm us up a little bit as we head into about Thursday. Can't really kick the rain out of here, though. I think we're going to be very close to seeing multiple rain events as we go through the week. There will be some dry time because of that ridge on Wednesday, uh, but before we get there, we still have some more showers. So here's Tuesday. We go through the rest of today with some rain. Tuesday as well. Tuesday night, it dries up a little bit. Scattered shower activity as we head into Wednesday morning, but pretty dry because of that ridge. Rain stays to the north before it falls right back on down as we head into our Thursday and definitely by Friday. So I think we do have a dry window probably Wednesday afternoon to about Thursday afternoon before we start to bring in another shot for some rain. All right, seven-day forecast. I have 57 today, 58 on Tuesday. There's 59 on Wednesday. Jenny, check out what it is. Through the week, we're going to have on and off showers, but I'll step out of the way. Mm -hmm. You see Saturday and Sunday, we actually have a shot for some Oh, time. that's nice for people who still haven't, you know, hit up the pumpkin patches or anything. Because I saw some people at them this weekend, and it looked a little rainy. They battled through. <laughs> yeah. Good, good yeah. for them. Good for them. But good I hope, for them. hopefully for Halloween, we, we do have a dry forecast. You no, know, that's true. Yeah, incorporate an umbrella in your costume. You might All have right. to. Hey, stick around. We have more news and weather when we come back.